neno la Mungu linasema hivi katika kitabu cha Psalms 91 katika jina la Yesu Kristo Amen in Jesus name Psalms 91 Tukianzia pale mstari wa tisa. Bibi inatuonyesha kitu cha muhimu kumfanya Mungu kuwa maskani yetu, kumfanya Mungu kuwa mahali petu pa kuishi. Our shelter, our dwelling place. Mustari wa tisa inasema hivi Psalms 91. If you make the most high your dwelling that means there is a dwelling in god and that also means there is a dwelling somewhere else in other things bibiria inatuonyesha kwamba kuna makazi kwa mungu na pia kuna makazi mahali kwingine Na ndiyo andiko linapoanza linasema lakini kwa wewe ambaye utachagua kumfanya Mungu kuwa makazi yako hapo ndipo inaanzia mambo mengine yote ambayo Biblia inazungumzia pale tunayapokea kwa ajili ya nini ya kufanya Mungu kuwa makazi yetu our dwelling place na wengine wamefanya makazi yao kuwa mali yao wengine wamefanya makazi yao kuwa pesa ambazo wako nazo that is what they trust wengine wamefanya makazi yao kuwa yale masomo ama hekima yao wengine wameifanya kwa serikali yao hayo yote ni makazi ambayo makazi ni pale ambapo tunapata ulinzi and protection and we feel secure the place where ambapo unahisi ya kwamba uko mahali pa usalama umejizingira but all the other things all the other dwelling places all the other places they are temporary ni za muda tu lakini kuna yale makazi ambayo yanadumu hata kuwe nini hayo makazi yata offer protection na ni makazi katika Mungu kumfanya Mungu kuwa makazi yetu kumfanya Mungu kuwa makazi ya familia zetu ya jamii zetu ya biashara yetu ya huduma zetu kudumu pale ndani na ndio Mwandishi wa Zaburi anasema hivi if you make the most high ni kusema kwamba jukumu ni letu jukumu ni lako na langu la kumfanya ni lazima tuchague kumfanya yeye hatajipendekeza yeye hatatuchagulia hata ni sisi tuamue na tuseme kuanzia leo ninamfanya Mungu kuwa makazi yangu kuwa makazi ya familia yangu kuwa makazi ya biashara yangu Mali pa ulinzi. Mali pa usalama. Mali ambapo adui hawezi kupenyeza. Mali ambapo hasara haiwezi kupata. Mali ambapo mafuriko ya ulimwengu na mawimbi haiwezi kupenyeza. Hapo ndipo tunaongelea kuhusu makazi. Na ndio Mungu anatuita asubuhi ya leo. Siku hii ya leo 
anatuambia kwamba kuna mahali kwangu niko na makazi kwangu yafanyeni maisha yenu leteni maisha yenu na mkaishi ndani yangu mkafanye kuwa ndio makazi yenu a permanent place not a temporary place makazi ya kudumu ndani ya Mungu na ndio ndio Biblia inatuambia kwamba if you make the most high your dwelling even the lord who is my refuge hata bwana ambaye ndiye kimbilio langu then ndipo no harm will befall you sasa anaanza kutuambia faida ya kudumu pale ndani ya Mungu na kuingia makazi ya Mungu ni lazima tuchague ni kumfanya Kristo kuwa Bwana katika maisha yetu na kuchagua kuishi kule ndani kwake kuchagua kukaa kule ndani na kutulia kule ndani kwake na kufuata njia na maagizo yake kutembea katika neno lake ambalo ametuteulia tukatembee nayo na hapo ndipo tutapokea usalama huu na ndio anasema no harm will befall you ni kusema nje ya makazi ya Mungu kuna uharibifu there is harm there is a likelihood of encountering harm kuna uwezekano wa kupata uharibifu kuna uwezekano wa ku, ku kukuwa injured bwana asifiwe ama kupokea uharibifu na ndio anasema kule ndani hakuna mabaya yatakupata no harm will befall you hili ni neno la Mungu linatuonyesha aina ya hama ama mabaya kwa mfano ni magonjwa hasara ukosefu or manners of disasters those are the harm ambao inatembea ulimwengu kutafuta wale ambao hawajafanya makazi yao kwa Mungu there is an enemy kunaye adui ambaye anazunguka hapa na pale duniani kote akiwatafuta wale ambao anaweza kuangamiza kwa sababu ni adui ambaye ni shetani ambaye anabeba uharibifu he is the destroyer na anatafuta wale ambao hawajafanya makazi yao kwa Mungu the devil is not a respect of any man yeye haishimu chio chako yeye hawezi kuheshimu mali yako pesa zako but there is only one thing that he, he respects and he honors the dwelling place of god that is where he cannot penetrate hapo ndipo hawezi kuingia hapo hawezi kupenyeza hadui hawezi kupenyeza na kuleta ma, ma uharibifu wake he cannot bring his harm no harm can befall you Hakuna mabaya yatakuangukia, hakuna mabaya yatapata familia yako, watoto wako, jamii yako itaishi katika ulinzi kule ndani. No disaster will come near your tent. Hakuna uharibifu ambayo utakalipia maisha yako. Afya yako hakuna uharibifu wa magonjo utakao kukaribia hata kuote watu wakiwa wanapitia uharibifu wa aina yoyote haitakukaribia kwa sababu ya nini kwa sababu ya chapter number 9 if you make if you choose to make the lord to be your dwelling kuchagua Bwana kuwa makazi yako Chagua Bwana kuwa mahali pako ambapo unaishi ambapo unaweka tumaini lako pale katika hiyo nyumba Mungu akuwe nyumba yako ambapo unaishi bila kutoka nje Jinsi ambavyo Mungu aliweza kumhifadhi Noa akiwa kwenye safina aliweza kuhifadhiwa na uharibifu wote and all the disaster that was being 
released on the earth hayakumpata noah kwa sababu alikuwa kule ndani kwenye safina na ndio siku ya leo Mungu ana Twitter ya kwamba tukadumu ndani yake tukafanye yeye kuwa makazi yetu tukafiche biashara zetu kule ndani kwa sababu adui anazunguka hapa na pale all round is running to and fro hana makazi ya kudumu yeye kazi yake shetani ni kuzunguka hapa na pale kuwatafuta wale hawajasimama kuwatafuta wale ambao hawatatumainia Mungu kuwatafuta wale hawajafanya Mungu kuwa makazi yao ili akalete uharibifu that is his own desire neno la bwana linasema in the book of john chapter number 10 verse 10 ya kwamba adui uja ila kuangamiza na kuwa na kuharibu hiyo ndiyo kazi yake and all these disasters are brought by the enemy all these calamities are brought by the enemy lakini wale tu ambao wamefichwa kwenye maficho ya Mungu wameingia pale na wamefanya Mungu kuwa makazi yao hao hakuna uharibifu utawapata no disaster will come near their tent that tent may be your body mili yetu haitapigwa na magonjwa biashara zetu hazitapigwa na uharibifu na hasara hazitaingiliwa na wakora familia zetu hazitapigwa na aina yoyote ya magonjwa na maradhi na hasara yoyote kwa sababu Mungu atamrisha ulinzi wake juu ya hema yetu Biblia inasema mstari wa 11 inasema for he will command his angels Mungu mwenyewe atamrisha Mungu atajukumika Inampa unampa Mungu nafasi ya kujukumika sasa kwa sababu pia na wewe umechukumika kumfanya yeye kuwa makazi yako yeye pia atajukumika kuhakikisha ya kwamba umepata ulinzi wa kutosha atajukumika ya kwamba umepata mahitaji yako yameweza kupokelewa mahitaji yako yameweza he has already met all your needs he will make sure that your needs are met atahakikisha kwamba mahitaji yako yote ameyashughulikia ni kusema kwamba kuna mahali tunaweza kaa na yakawezi kujukumisha Mungu na kuna mahali ambapo tunaweza kuwa na Mungu hana any obligation kwa sababu hatujachagua kuwa mahali ambapo ametuchagulia tumekataa kukaa mahali ambapo ametuchagulia na tumekataa kumtii naye hana uwezo tena ana jukumu lolote la kukulinda ana jukumu lolote la kuamrisha malaika wake na ndio pale inasema Mungu atajukumika kuamlisha malaika wake atawaambia enye malaika wangu endeni mkalinde yule kwa sababu amechagua kunifanya mimi makazi amechagua kunitumikia amechagua amechagua kunitrust kuniamini sasa Mungu anachukumika nendeni muka akikeshe mahitaji yake yote that all his needs are met and akikisha anawaambia nendeni na muhakikisha kuna magonjwa itampata unapata kwamba Mungu anajukumika sasa unampa Mungu nafasi unampa Mungu kazi na kibarua cha kukulinda wewe kwa sababu ya nini pia na wewe ulijukumika ukachukua hatua ya kutii na kumfanya Mungu kuwa makazi yako He has no obligation to command his angel to protect them who are walking in, to, in disobedience of him. Lakini yeye anajukumika kwa wale ambao wamechukua nafasi ya kumfanya makazi. And that's why anatuambia kwamba atawaamrisha malaika. Sio wewe ni yeye atawaamrisha. 
yeye atawaambia malaika wake hawa hii jamii wakikishe nyenye malaika mumewalinda hii biashara yake uhakikishe yenye malaika hakuna adui ataingia hakuna hasara itawapata Mungu mwenyewe anajukumika He will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways atamrisha malaika wake atawajukumisha wakukulinde kila wakati in all your ways kwa njia zako zote kwenye familia yako yote kwenye biashara yako atamrisha malaika in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that he will not strike your foot against a stone hizi ni faida ambazo tunaonyeshwa za kumfanya Mungu kuwa makazi yetu thank you for watching this program we believe this prophetic message has transformed your life If you would like to partner with us, please contact us on the numbers on your screen.